I'm Contact 5 investigator Dave Bowman. For the past six weeks, the only turtles you can find at the Loggerhead Marine Life Center are the stuffed turtles you can buy in the gift shop. No one knows when the real turtles will return. Visitors see sharks and tropical fish, but the facility named Loggerhead has 26 empty tanks for loggerheads and other sea turtles needing rehabilitation. We're going to see turtles when we have a veterinary staff on board and we can assure Fish and Wildlife Service that we can deliver consistent water quality. Bob Wiseman is the former Palm Beach County Manager and co-chair of an independent committee looking to find a new chief executive and to replace veterinary staffers who resigned at the beginning of May. It's hard to get veterinary staff. There are not a lot of veterinarians with turtle experience. But Wiseman's trying. He came aboard when Loggerhead CEO Kyle Van Houten resigned abruptly May 3rd after months of turmoil involving staff turnover, low morale, and water quality problems that kept the turtle tanks empty. This organization went through different types of trauma over the past few months. Our reputation has only been heard on a short time basis. I think over a relatively short period of time we're going to be back to normal. Normal includes tanks with recovering turtles and the breathtaking sights of rehabbed loggerheads headed back into the Atlantic. It's my goal, it might be optimistic, but I think I'll be doing my job well if we can have the veterinary staff hired, the approval from Fish and Wildlife Service to have turtles here before the end of the summer. Optimistic, but Bob Weisman says the reputation of loggerhead will be restored and eventually he'll be able to recruit strong staffers because of the facility's $26 million renovation with more money to come for state-of-the-art hospital and labs. I'm Contact 5 investigator Dave Bowman, WPTV News Channel 5.